while Cardano hit 97 cents, DOT hit $25, and Bitcoin is back fighting at all-time highs. Today we're going to talk about where I think Cardano could go by the end of this bull market. And obviously you guys already know my prediction in the short term. And also make sure you watch to the end because I have some interesting perspectives on what could possibly bring the crypto market down slightly for a little bit. So first and foremost, I know we're at a high price and actually we're down a little bit right now. I think we're sitting around the 90 cent mark, 92, 93 cents. Now it's important to recognize that we still have a lot around the corner that we don't know about. Charles Hoskinson has been teasing something coming around and we know that ADA is pressing up on the dollar and I'm pretty sure we are going to hit a one dollar value sooner before that news hits and you guys know that I've already said that I think ADA is going to hit a dollar in the near term but for whatever event is coming we need to make sure to manage our expectations we don't know what's coming out is if it's going to dramatically impact the price or impact the system right away and we don't know if the price is already baked into the hype often markets don't move by logic they move by emotion so if people are really excited about something and they don't know what it is often the markets will price in that change and sometimes they can overcorrect or undercorrect so we don't know which way it'll go and we still need to be patient but it's important to take advantage of the dips and not FOMO in I know a lot of people say just go in all in go all in and I, I get that sentiment but you could repurpose your money in a lot of different alts and probably make a higher return so just be aware of any opportunities that you might miss by going all into something at a high price now let's be frank cardano's obviously moved really fast and really far and honestly a retracement wouldn't surprise me and i don't think it surprised anyone i think it'll be something that might happen but for now i am a little bullish and i'm going to play a clip from charles's ama to discuss why we've been building We've been building and building and building relationships. We've been building networks. We've been building community. We have been building momentum. We have been building technology. And this is the year where we start turning on all of that stuff. This is the year where we start having rubber hit the road, where we actually start seeing the fruits of our labors in reality and market. And the market's starting to wise up to that ecosystem starting to wise up to that they're realizing that there's an inevitability behind cardano that not only are we here to stay we're going to make a very big impact and put a big fucking debt in the universe because we earned it through years of hard work we earned it through so much effort we earned it by sticking around through the hard times when other people didn't we earned it by not taking shortcuts we earned it by doing it the hard way because it was the necessary way because others couldn't or were unwilling and unable to get there. And I'm proud of that. Always been proud of that. And I'm proud of you, the community. And I'm proud of what we've built and the relationships we have. So this is going to be a good month. Uh, a little bird told me that. And let's see how accurate that bird is. So obviously, whatever this is, whatever he's teasing, it's super exciting. I can't wait for it. I'm still very bullish on ADA. And you guys already know that I've called for a $3 Cardano by mid-March. But I'm thinking the way that this bull market is going and the fact that we have an estimate of $10 trillion coming into the market, I think we are going to see a good amount of money shovel into Cardano. Now, Cardano is moving into its decentralized phase. So we're now currently 80% through the process, moving in from a federal phase to a decentralized, whereas the system is decentralized and there is no central body governing the system in any way. Now, I want to put market caps in perspective really quick. Apple is a, over a $1 trillion market cap and apple's a business it's not a system cardano is a system similar to like the internet when you buy an ada you're buying a piece of that system it's the same with any blockchain every blockchain has a token because those tokens are used for actions on that blockchain so you can't have one without the other now if we're expecting 10 trillion dollars sent to the market and if you look at where the market cap is of eth and if eth even gives up some of its market cap and its dominance because if we think that bitcoin is going to be a multi-trillion dollar asset which i do believe and theoretically eth could also be a multi-trillion dollar asset or at least a smart contract blockchain similar to eth but let's be conservative here and call for a 500 billion dollar market cap we're currently at around 30 billion dollars and again you're looking at 10 trillion dollars to enter the crypto market from here whoever takes the second spot whether it be ethereum ada or dot they are going to have a serious amount of market cap. And I do think that this could potentially be ADA. So I think that we could see at the end of this bull run, an $11 ADA. 
And with a system like Cardano, it's really important because they're fostering what could be the change of monetary policy, something that really changes how we think of money and, and governing money. And I, I wanna share this clip here with you before we go into a little bit more about monetary policy. Uh, and what's happened is that I think there's a degree of inevitability in our industry that we never had before. And as a consequence, I think that cryptocurrency is not only here to stay, but it's becoming increasingly clear that monetary policy is failing. You know, the reality is that governments are printing trillions of dollars. The reality is national debts are all time highs. We have negative interest rates in many places and every institution is starting to lose legitimacy. Little by little by little by little. And what that effectively means is that people are looking for escape valves. It used to be gold back in the day. But Bitcoin has become that, and Bitcoin is the gateway drug of our industry. Once they're in Bitcoin, they say, well, wait a minute, we need to diversify. We need to do different things. And that's going to bring so much money into the cryptocurrency space. And what does it mean when Fortune 500 companies have taken positions? What that means is those Fortune 500 companies, well, they're going to become very pro-crypto, and that means regulations have to be pro-crypto because the government is run by Fortune 500 companies. Let's be honest about it. And what does that mean for us? It means that we can continue the work, the mission unimpeded. As the dog barks, the caravan moves on, especially that one over there. <laughs> yeah, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the inevitability. I'm proud of this industry, and I'm proud of the fact that it feels stronger and stronger and more and more real day by day. So I'm going to be really careful about what I say here because YouTube just doesn't like you saying certain things. Uh, but the monetary policy in North America is incredibly poor. Um, and th that goes with the same with most robust countries in the world. And we're truly heading for uh, a significant financial disaster. And if certain entities don't change their practices, which I don't see happening, I see this as an inevitable event. And with DeFi services closing in, we have a serious chance to change the system. This is a true financial revolution. In a lot of ways, this is almost Satoshi's vision. Capitalism in this world works by you voting with your dollars. And a lot of us are going to be minted into this new financial system. And quite possibly, we'll have more control than the people of the legacy financial system. And here's to put this in perspective. We are still early. How early, you might ask? We were here before Elon Musk. We were here before micro strategies. Here we are. We are already in the market. We are already in here. We have such a leg up among so many people. So we have still so, so much room to grow. Even after this bull market and this market cycle, afterwards, when we carry on and we're still moving our portfolios and we're still growing, entering DeFi and growing our positions, we can really shape a brand new financial future. And I think blockchain is at that core. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the price prediction. I know it's a little lofty and I get into uh, some ideas about monetary policy here. But I personally think this uh, prediction of $11 is actually a little bearish. But I didn't want to allocate too much. You know, I, I, I feel like, you know, we can swallow $500 billion. But personally, I think it might be a little bit bearish. So just, just so you know, um, but I think $11 is a good conservative number. Go ahead and drop a like on the video. And if you haven't seen the new video for the portfolio series is out, so I'd recommend go checking that out in the playlist right now. Happy hodling.